Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Lambert and I have a new family math investigation for you today. There's going to be measurement, money, conversion, comparison, uh, repeated addition, multiplication, maybe some division, all wrapped up in a simple question. You ready? Okay, here we go. Which would you rather have? Your height in quarters stacked end to end or nickels in a stack? What is each money tower worth? Pretty fun question, right? Um, so before you get started in trying to find the answer, have your child make a prediction, right? What's their estimate? Which one do you think is gonna get you more money? And ask them why. Okay. After they make their prediction, pull out some coins and explore. What do you know about quarters? What do they look like when they're stacked end to end? What about nickels when they're stacked flat? Okay. After you explore the coins a bit, ask your child about their prediction again. Does it change their answer? Does it confirm what they were thinking? Why? Okay. Now you're ready to start solving. Um, so my guess is that you don't have enough coins um, to try it out and stack them until you get to your height. Um, so your child's gonna have to get creative on how they're going to solve this. Um, they might want to draw a full scale model though. Maybe if you have some butcher paper, they can trace themselves and then trace all the coins on there. Um, or they um, might wanna use repeated addition or some multiplication after they measure their coins and themselves. Um, maybe they want to do it the other way around and divide their height based on the measurements they have for the coins. Basically, it's up to them on how they want to solve this problem. And you can guide them and help them figure out their solution. Um, but don't force the solution onto them. Don't force them to think like you think. Um, and you might need to get creative with how you measure your height, too. Um, maybe you only have a 12-inch ruler. Right? We're all taller than 12 inches, so how are you going to do that? Um, really have a chance to explore with different materials around your house and how you can solve this problem. It's also a great opportunity to talk to your child about units and conversion. What are they measuring their height in? Feet? Inches? What are they measuring the coins in? Are they in the same unit? Or are you going to need to convert from one unit to the other? Why are units important? Right? These are all conversations that you can be having as your child's exploring. Another question you can ask is, does everyone get the same answer? And not in terms of exactly how many coins for your height, because we know that's going to be different. But is everyone going to prefer one of the money stacks, either quarters or nickels? So does generally the question have the same solution for everyone, or does it change based on your height? Is there a pattern to it? Is there a certain point at which it's more beneficial to have one over the other? Or is the pattern different? Maybe your child wants to graph their solutions for a bunch of different family members. Or maybe there's a pattern that they notice starting through the coins and stacking coins on top of each other. Let them explore, see what they find. Okay? Um, or maybe they wanna look into different coins. Would their answer change if they were stacking dimes or pennies maybe? What about half dollars or dollar coins? Right? So this simple question has so many different ways that you can explore and play with it. Um, so choose what is fun for your child, what they're interested in. Let them guide you on uh, where to take this investigation. I hope you have fun and I'll see you next time.